so excited. They're about to announce the nominees and it's streaming live from Sweden. The Miss Bikini contest on my way. <laughs> Ugh. Not a very attractive group this year. It's not the Miss Bikini contest, it's the Nobel Prize for physics. Oh, then it actually is a pretty attractive group this year. <laughs> for physics, Dr. Thomas Gallifrey, for his just published work on the use of entangled photon pairs in quantum teleportation. You've got to be kidding me. Seriously, did they not even consider astronomer Mike Hawkins' discovery that quasars don't show time dilation? I mean, that's my research. I sent it to the physics department at the university where Gallifrey works for review and never heard back. Who cares about some lame award? Lame award? The Nobel Prize for Physics is the world's most prestigious science award. You get a medal engraved with the profile of Alfred Nobel, a million dollars cash, and a handshake from Carl XVI Gustav, the King of Sweden. You get what? A handshake from Carl XVI Gustav, the King of Sweden. No, the other thing. A medal engraved with a profile. No, the other, other thing. A, a million dollars cash? Yes! We have to stop this Gallifrey and get what's rightfully ours. You mean mine. Sorry, slip of the tongue. Now let's go get my money. Okay, here's how we're gonna play this. You're a good cop. Make him feel at ease, like we're on his side and just wanna clear up a simple misunderstanding. Then bam! <laughs> In comes bad cop. You better let the cat out of the bag, see? You know what happens to cats that aren't let out of bags? <laughs> they die! <laughs> and not some quick, peaceful death. <laughs> the slow, painful suffocation that only comes from being stuck in a bag. <laughs> and the whole time, Little droplets of spittle and bits of club sandwich fly out of my coffee-stained teeth. How about we just talk to him? Fine. But you'll never make detective with that attitude. <laughs> Professor? He's not here. We'll have to come back another time. Come back? This is perfect. We can snoop around for evidence. That's breaking and entering. The door was unlocked. That's just entering. We didn't break anything. <laughs> okay, but that's entering and breaking. The opposite of breaking and entering. Which makes it legal. <laughs> you carry around fingerprint powder? Fingerprint powder? This is cocoa mix. <laughs> with marshmallows. <laughs> Aha! This guy's chocolatey fingerprints are all over this place. It's his office. <laughs> what is this? Some kind of scanner? He probably used it to scan his, his butt. <laughs> my paper into his computer so he could replace my name with his and change the font to something boring. I type all my papers in wingdings. Hey, watch where you're going. That must be Gallifrey. Hide. <laughs> Seriously? Stay. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Shake. Now speak. <laughs> He's blind. What? He's blind. I can't hear you. <laughs> Dear Professor Golly Fry, I would like to congratulate you on your Nobel Prize nomination. Yours truly, King Carl the Sixteenth. P.S. I look forward to shaking your hand in Stockholm. <laughs>
<laughs> He's blind. I know. <laughs> I know that guy's dirty. I mean, he wears sunglasses inside. Who does that? Well, we still need proof he stole my paper, and there's no way we can search his office with that dog around. But, Mrs. Byrne, it's wrong to wear fur. Balderdash! One coat will hardly put a dent in the saber-toothed tiger population. I think I have an idea. Could you believe the way those girls were staring at us on the bus? I know. I felt like a piece of meat. <laughs> what is wrong, Augie? <laughs> ah, that's better. Good job! a better dog than a window. <laughs> oh, oh, Marmaduke, you never fail to amuse me. <laughs> Wasn't that funny, Augie? Uh -huh. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Lunch time. Boy, this is your favorite. Now eat up. <laughs> hmm. I don't hear you lapping it up. Maybe I should take you to the vet. Have him check your bum bum for roundworms. <laughs> Good boy. the same way about yes you are this little fella i'm looking after augie for a friend everybody loves this dog there better not be a dog in this school uh-oh quick my locker not you i you i you you have a cold mr tater no it's allergies I'm severely allergic to dogs. <laughs> and figgy pudding. If someone has either a dog or figgy pudding in this school, there will be heck to pay. Heck! Icy! What was that? That was my stomach growling. Uh, I am starving. Maybe I'll just go to the cafeteria for a club sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> nice try. Do you really think we can afford to serve sandwiches with three slices of bread? <laughs> okay, let's get Augie. <laughs> wow, here's the first. A dog actually ate my homework. Your science homework? Yes. What am I gonna do with this guy? Well, I'd love to help, but I have history class. Who has heard of the War of 1812? <laughs> During the War of 1812, what were conditions like for the British soldiers? <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's right. They were rough. In fact, during the long cold winter, some were even forced to eat. Bark. Very good. Bark right off the trees. <laughs> you are one of my brightest students. Good thing, too, because not much to look at. <gasps> hey! Come back here with my wig, young man! How rough was it? Come back 
here with my wig. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Hey. Action! 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 There's a dog in this school. Action! And I'm gonna find Action! <laughs> it. But I need you to discipline the student who stole my wig. Oh, fine. Action! Where is he? Right over there. I'm sorry, Mrs. Byrne. My eyes are all swollen and watery. I can't see a thing. Action! Action! <sighs> Who is it? I don't know his name, but he's big, ugly, covered with hair, and has terrible breath. Slab, give Mrs. Byrne her wig back. <laughs> y yes, Slab, give me the wig. And take this cookie instead. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Slab is. Slab's a good boy. Here's your wig, Mrs. Byrne. Wow. All these years of detention when all he needed was a cookie. Action. Well, I'm off to find that dog. Action. Action. And you, get your act together. You have so much potential. <clears throat> Forget the roof. The sky's the limit. <laughs> Time to go for walkies. Ruh ro. <laughs> Come on, Derby Pickup. To leave a message for Derby, press or say one. To leave a message for Antoine Bolognese, press or say two. One. You have selected two. Bonjour. You have reached Antoine Bolognese. Please leave a message after Zuby. Derby. It's me, again. Where are you? Woof, woof, bark, bark. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> oh, it can be so cruel. So I'm blind. There's nothing weird about this. Here, boy. Why don't you run around a little? Go fetch. <laughs> Derby! <laughs> Derby! Heel! Heel? <laughs> Good boy! Good dog! Hey! What were you throwing that discus? What, are you blind? Yes. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> What's going on? Have you found my paper yet? Derby, why won't you answer me? You told me a heel and you didn't give me a treat. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to look. The professor is always around, patting me, feeding me, making me try on little doggy sweaters. <laughs> Although, the pink one looks absolutely darling on me. <laughs> well, hurry up. Tater is allergic to dogs. I can't hide doggy here forever. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, boy, that's enough fun. Time to do your business. Oh, don't argue with me. I don't want any accidents. So we're not going home until you do your duty. Now go. Doggy here all night. My mother's allergic. It's inconsiderate to bring a dog into an environment where it would affect someone's health. <laughs> Besides, he's safe in the science lab. Augie's not here. Oh no. I'm sure I closed that door. He must have gotten loose. Plus, he destroyed the science fair project. Was it yours? Yes. <laughs> He could be anywhere in the school. We'll never find him. Action. Yes, we will. We've got a human dog detector. Action. 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 Oh, I 
can't believe you two don't know where the library is. <laughs> Follow me. I can. Uh, you know, actually, what's the point of working out the mind if you don't also work out the body? You're right. Can you show us where the gym is instead? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you really don't know where the gym is? I usually do track outside. <laughs> and does this one look like he knows where to find a gym? I mean, feel this thing. It's like one of those bags of icing baker's oh. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I just realized I'm not wearing my gym shoes. <laughs> Can you show me where my locker is again? You kids and your short attention spans. You know, when I was your age, I... Ooh, look. <laughs> the Shiny Objects Appreciation Club is having a meeting. <laughs> the gym. All this walking has tired me out. <laughs> yeah, I don't have time for this. I have to go find that dog. <laughs> okay, Augie must be in here. <sighs> it's locked. This is crazy. You're not kidding. This month went all in with a pair of threes. I'm gonna go check on my friend. Would you watch hockey for me? Deal me in, boys. <laughs> and girl. Derby. Derby. Wake up. are you doing? Well, I was dreaming. Thanks for waking me up right before I caught up to the car. I mean, you're supposed to be looking for proof Professor Gallifrey stole my paper. Oh, he went out. Sometimes he just takes the cane. Then this would be the perfect opportunity to sniff around and finally end this madness. Now's not a good time. He could be back any minute. You know, I think he has a conference in April. <laughs> you don't want it to end, do you? No, I love being a dog. We play ball, he scratches my belly. Plus, I get a lot of napping in. <laughs> the food? You get used to it. <laughs> and look how shiny my coat has gotten. Sorry, but I'm afraid your dog days are over. I've come up with a plan to smoke out Gallifrey and get him to show us where he's hiding the evidence. We know what you did. It's pretty good. It needs one more thing. You're looking lovely today, Judith. <laughs> he's coming! Hide! Okay, I guess we don't have to actually hide. <laughs> Augie, I'm home! <laughs> yes, yes, hello! Daddy missed you too! <laughs> Here it comes. We know what you did. Done? Done? Done. Nice touch. Oh, no. He's on to me. How could he possibly know I stole his paper? I keep all the evidence in the safe. This is it. Aha! Wait. What is this? All right, you've caught me. 
Yes, I steal my neighbor's newspaper, but I just tear out Marmaduke and put the rest back. I shouldn't have to pay for the paper. I'm blind. I'm not your neighbor, and I don't care about Marmaduke. <laughs> He's driving the car. <laughs> <laughs> you stole my research paper on entangled photon pairs. Oh, you must be Adam Young. <laughs> yeah. The Adam Young, who should be headed to Sweden for the world's most prestigious award ceremony. Ooh, goody, is it time for the Miss Bikini Contest already? <laughs> I'm talking about the Nobel Prize. Besides, bikinis, you're blind. We prefer the term visually impaired. I got your paper, but I never read it. I knew from your email that it was on a similar topic to my research, and I didn't want it to influence my work. It's still sealed, see? Huh. Yes, I owe you an apology. It's just that my research isn't just similar to yours. It's exactly the same. Except mine's in wingdings. <laughs> well, I'd love to collaborate with you and do some further research. Me? Work with a Nobel Prize nominee? Let, let me think about it. Yes! <laughs> All right, well, I've got your email. We'll talk. talk. <laughs> Take care. It's been really nice getting to know you. Likewise. I was talking to the other kid. You knew? Of course. I'm blind. I'm not stupid. We prefer the term intellectually impaired. <laughs> now, I've got to go to the bathroom. Adam, bring a bag. Wow, we really took that Pomeranian to the cleaners. Ah! I know that dog is around here somewhere. Oh, no. Oh, Augie, I'm so glad you're my boyfriend. Kiss me. <gasps> Young love. <laughs> oh, Augie, you're such a good kisser. <laughs> OK, new plan. 